In this video, we demonstrate the technique to perform and train internal podelic version of the second twin encephalic or transverse position. For didactic purposes, a dry pelvic and fetal mannequin are used in this video. If one wants to enhance realistic sensations, the procedure can also be trained with a waterproof model. The fetal mannequin is then positioned in a plastic bag filled with lukewarm water. For the procedure, the mother is best installed in low lithotomy position, with the knees at the same level as the maternal abdomen. The procedure is always performed bimanually, with the external or abdominal hand being as important as the internal or vaginal hand. For didactic purposes, the internal hand is covered by a long white glove and the external hand by a green glove. The internal glove is only lubricated on the dorsal side of the hand to facilitate vaginal entry but avoid slipping and maintain grip on the fetal parts. At vaginal entry, the internal hand is held in a conical position called main d'accoucheur and the external hand supports the uterine fundus. When the fetus is in a transverse position, the fetal back can point upwards, posterior, anterior or downwards. Ideally, both fetal feet are grasped. If only one can be reached, one can easily remember best to take the same foot as the site of the maternal pelvis where the breech is located. It promotes anterior rotation of the fetal back and prevents impaction of the anterior leg on the symphysis. Selecting the internal hand is equally important to prevent crossing of the operator's arms during the procedure. It depends on the fetal position and may well be the non-dominant hand of the operator. If the fetus is in a longitudinal position, the internal hand is the one on the side of the fetal abdomen. If the fetus is in a transverse position, the internal hand is the one on the side of the fetal breech. Internal podelic version and extraction is performed in four steps. When the fetus is in cephalic position, the first step of the procedure consists of by manually lifting the head out of the maternal pelvis. Secondly, the external hand presents the breech and the interior hand grabs the feet in a pistol grip. In the third step, the actual version is performed towards a longitudinal eye by mobilizing the head cranially with the external hand and pulling the feet caudally with the internal hand. Finally, in the fourth step, the actual breech extraction is performed. The attentive observer notices the clamped umbilical cord of the previously delivered first twin. If the fetus is in a transverse position, the first step of mobilizing the head out of the pelvis might not be necessary. It is important to remember that tocolysis and adequate maternal pain relief are essential for internal podelic version and breech extraction. Sufficient intrauterine space and amniotic fluid volume greatly facilitates the procedure. It is achieved by initiating the procedure and grabbing the feet through intact membranes, which will spontaneously rupture during the procedure. The most challenging position is often when the fetal back is facing down and feet are cranial. Reaching for the feet and performing the rotation can then be difficult. One should not hesitate to convert to emergency caesarean section if the procedure appears to be technically too difficult.